Hi and welcome to another sunny prep presentation. And today we're going to discuss paranasal sinuses a little bit more. We're going to look mainly at the functions of them and the problems associated with paranasal sinuses as well as those that cause these problems. In the last video we discussed that they are a collection of four air filled cavities or passages that are located in different locations in the head constituting a part of the upper airway tract and connection connected to the nasal cavities. Sinuses are now in these sinuses are named according to the bones within which or where near they lie. Let's look at the function of paranasal sinuses. The biological roles of paranasal sinuses have is still being researched but the known facts are that they help decrease the effective weight of the skull in the front where the facial bones are. Uh, they act as impact absorbers against injuries that cause blows to the head and they increase the resonance of a person's voice. They also help in immunological defenses, in other words increasing the defenses of the immune, uh, immune system. And they humidify and heat inhaled air, uh, provide a form of insulation for dental roots and eyes against sudden temperature fluctuations and also regulate the intranasal gas pressure. Let's look at the problems associated with paranasal sinuses. They are connected to the nasal cavity through small orifices called ostia. These orifices can easily become blocked because of infections or other conditions which disrupts the drainage of the mucus from the sinuses. Treating this blockage, drugs like decongestant are uh, prescribed, which helps in reducing the inflammation and therefore allowing the mucus to drain properly. The causes of these problems are associated with paranasal sinuses um, is exposing oneself to chemicals like sawdust, metal dust and other chemicals found in jobs of shoemaking, thermals, and metal plating, etc. It's also an infection called human papillomorovirus, HPV, or regular smoking of cigarettes and falling in age groups of 40 plus can also be causes of paranasal sinuses. Thank you for watching this video. In our next video, we're going to discuss how to recognize the symptoms of sinusitis. In other words, what sinusitis is and the common symptoms of sinusitis. Thank you once again for watching this video. Please feel free to go and click subscribe at the top of this video. And also like the video and give us a comment telling us what you thought of this video and if you have anything to add to the discussion. Thank you and we'll see you in the next video.